I started um, my coming home from school life in Loftus in New South Wales. We lived in 8th Avenue Loftus, but I can't remember the number. I can remember riding a little tricycle along the path that my grandpa Pop had made with Dad. Um, he was a really good stonemason, Pop. That was one of his um, hobbies. Um, and helping Dad build the house. Um, we lived in a tent at first and um, then while well, Dad and Mum built the house at Loftus. I went on a train to school in Sutherland Primary School in New South Wales and um, later on, um, while we, I was going to Sutherland Primary School, Dad and Mum and the Loftus Progress Association built the local school at Loftus. And then I started to go to the Loftus Primary School. When we came home, I can remember walking home through the bush, through huge, um, uh, really tall rock faces, climbing up and down and walking down because um, the National Park was um, just next door to our home and walking back through the bush with my friends Gwen Hansford and her parents, we used to call Auntie Gloria and Uncle Jack and my brothers. Um, Jeff Nalen, another friend of mine, he died when he was 21 in a car crash. Um, but we always used to go out and go cycling and go down to, um, like the other story I heard about, um, go down to the creek um, and uh, catch yabbies and paddle in the pools. And that was the first time I ever saw... Um, uh, waratahs. I always wondered what these tall things, these flowers were on these really tall, 20 foot tall stems. And then later on, you know, I saw them in a bush and they were the emblem of New South Wales. They were beautiful. It was the really thick bush. Um, uh, coming home, we, um, we always had an early tea in bed by six to listen to Hop Harrigan and Tank Tinker on the radio and Tarzan if we were lucky and Dad was late on the train so Dad could study. He was studying for a PhD at the time. In Griffith, which we moved to when I was eight, I, I can remember we lived in Almula Street and I think it was number 13. Um, before we went to Griffith, Davy Crockett was, or Crocker was all the rage and we all had Davy Crocker hats with the, with the tail down the back. And I remember as we drove to Griffith in the first car we owned, which I think was an Austin A40, but I'm not sure about that, um, we went to... Um, or every, we were a site for... Nobody knew what these Davy Crocker hats... <laughs> Um, we all had been watching TV in at Pop's place in 52. Um, we out west, we had bikes. We went um, after school. We we had lots of uh, trips away, picnics with mum and dad, with um, fruit cake, sandwiches and tea, looking at this strange countryside round Griffith. In Nambour, we lived across the road from a swimming pool. We lived on Rosemount Road after Netherton Street. Um, and I remember training in the swimming pool because I had asthma when I was younger and I swam a lot. I used to swim, I remember, 15 lengths or something or 13 lengths, um, a kilometre every night and then cycling home. I remember cycling home one, one day, uh, I almost allowed the bike to go underneath a steamroller. I was so out of it because I'd been swimming so hard. Um, later on, we moved to... Um, oh, in our school holidays, we went sailing at Marucha River. The boys in the Sabo, every year winning the head of the river in the boat we all made with Dad. The sails we bought from the sailmaker who later made the sails for America's Cup winner. Later sailing in the Quick Cat as we grew older. And I used to sail on a one-man boat, which I can't remember the name of. Nothing can beat leaning out on the trapeze, catching the breeze, tacking in between sailing. We worked the farms, chipping, picking, packing pineapples and bananas, sending them all over Australia and some to Adelaide, collecting eggs. We did do all do our homework and achieve some success in work and life.